Spotlight is hands down one of the best features on macOS. And with macOS 26, it's getting even better with app integration and smarter search. But here's the big question. Are there any good alternatives out there? In this video, I'm showing you five of the best Spotlight alternatives that don't just copy the classic features, they've already added the new stuff too, even before Apple rolled it out. And the best part, all of them work on Windows and some also support macOS and Linux. Let's get started. First up, we've got Flow Launcher. This is one of those launchers I get asked about a lot, whether it's the best or not. Let's find out. Starting with the basics. It's simple. Hit Alt plus space or any custom hotkey you like and Flow instantly pops up. It shows you time and date right here, which is kind of interesting. And now it's ready to launch apps, find files, run web searches, open your bookmarks, or even tweak your system settings. And it's blazing fast, especially if you hook up with everything search for file indexing. Now here's where Flow really flexes, plugins. It's got a full plugin store with some default plugins such as your browser bookmarks, calculator, clipboard, find and manage your files and folders, YouTube search, plugin integrator, plugin manager, process killer, and a lot more. Let's try the YouTube plugin. And yes, I'm gonna search my channel's name. My videos are up here. And by using F1, it only shows the thumbnail and title, which is pretty good. And if that's not enough, just click on store and boom, everything you could think of is right there in Flow Launcher. It doesn't matter what you want to do, if it's media control or full Spotify control, if you have a premium account. By the way, if you're interested in customizing your Spotify and making it look like this, feel free to watch this video. And it's not just themes, there's more linked in the top right corner and in the description. Using Flow Launcher plugins, you'll get Steam, Spotify, Obsidian, GitHub, or even finance tools and dev utilities. Basically, if you can imagine it, Flow probably has a plugin for it. So if you're into using app integrations via search app, this might be one of the best out there. And for customization, off the charts. You can enable the query window shadow effect. There are lots of pre-made themes to choose from. There's a full theme builder complete with animations and sounds. And if you're picky about design, you can build your own modern theme from scratch. You can also enable or disable the clock and date on the launcher or change the format, like setting the day to appear before the month. Themes look really nice and I really love them. It also supports shell and PowerShell commands and you can run them as admin or even as another user. That means full system command support, reboot, shutdown, hibernate, all just a keystroke away. Hotkeys are fully customizable too. You can preview images or video thumbnails using F1 and see other info like file size, created and modified dates, though it's not a super pro level preview. Once you trigger specific actions with different shortcuts, done. Dual monitor support, yep. And it has a dedicated game mode. And finally, Flow Launcher is free and open source. There's no subscription, just a powerful, highly extensible tool that adapts to how you work. Let's dive into Listree, one of the fastest and smartest search utilities for Windows. Built to boost your file and app launching speed like crazy. Listry keeps it simple, no plugin store or third party extensions here. Instead, it focuses on deep system integration and built in smart features that cover your daily needs out of the box. The built in tools are enhanced and work very well, but since it's not open source, you won't find as many extra plugins like you do with Flow Launcher. Now, let's try the YouTube search like we did on Flow Launcher. I type YouTube and then hit space. It enters YouTube function mode. I search for my channel's name and yeah, there's no preview. It only gives basic search suggestions. Let's try searching for a video. And yeah, still no thumbnails, but it gets the job done. Now let's move on to themes. 
There's a light mode which is enabled by default and two dark modes which are for pro version. File search. If you press the list tree hotkey twice, you'll see a quick file search window and it's super fast. Now I'm searching for an image and when you select the images category, it instantly finds the files. You'll get basic options like open containing folder, copy, cut, copy pass to clipboard, restore, delete and properties for the file. This is a unique feature of Listry that I really like. Once installed, every time you open the file explorer, you can just start typing what you need and Listry finds it instantly. And it works on desktop too. Just click on your desktop, then search for what you want to. It will show you the results as fast as possible. Hotkeys are customizable in Listry and works really well. You can assign the launcher and file search to whatever you want. It's really great. And for the preview, it's similar to Flow Launcher, no playback of videos or full text content, but pressing Alt plus P gives you an instant file preview without opening the file fully. And let's move on to functionality. It's really fast in searching files and apps. There's a smart ranking that adapts to your habits. So your frequently used files and apps appear first. There's a quick save and open which lets you instantly jump to recently used or search folders when saving or opening files. It saves you tons of time. And also there's a built-in command such as shutdown and reboot and also web search features which gives you extra productivity power. Advanced users can tweak some options but Lestri keeps things straightforward and efficient. The UI is minimalist, elegant and intuitive. Lestri feels like a natural extension of Windows enhancing the experience without overwhelming you. And these are Lestri commands which you can use and work really well. There is no dedicated game mode but Lestri is lightweight and one interface with your gaming sessions. And as for dual monitor support, it works seamlessly across multiple monitors, launching on whichever screen you're using. Now let's move on to Fluent Search. Fluent Search delivers lightning fast results as you type, thanks to optimized search algorithms and the native file indexer. It scans your files super quickly while keeping your CPU usage low, so your system stays smooth and responsive. Fluent Search is awesome if you want to find anything. A running app, an open browser tab, a file, or a system setting. It unifies all your PC's searchable content in one place, just like a supercharged spotlight for Windows. One cool feature is Screen Search. You can navigate and use your PC entirely with the keyboard. Perfect for situations when you can't use a mouse. It's not just a simple keyboard now. You can perform actions like single click, double click, right click, and more using just the keyboard. Power users will love this for full keyboard based workflows. Fluent Search supports community plugins so you can tailor your search experience with extra features. While it doesn't have as many plugins as Flow Launcher, the ones available work well and cover most needs. Now let's check out how the YouTube plugin works comparing to Flow Launcher. First, I need to install it, which is actually good since not everyone needs it by default. Once installed, I search using the YouTube tag. I type in my channel's name and right away it shows channels. Scrolling a bit more, it shows my videos with thumbnails. There's no extra preview like video descriptions or inline previews, which I think is fine. I'd rather to open the window in my browser anyway. It's super fast and works seamlessly, a solid 10 out of 10. Searching with tags is super helpful. You're not limited to folders, music, or standard filters. You can filter results by a wide range of tags. For example, if you want a quick answer from ChatGPT, you can search, then hit tab to filter by the ChatGPT tag, and now type your question right here. If it turns into a bigger query than just a simple question, just click here to open it in a new window and then make it bigger. And if you want to search by extension, just search for it, dot extension name. And it instantly filters by file type. There are hotkeys for almost everything, copy, run as admin, kill a process, all covered. 
And if you're worried about your system resources, just enable the performance mode and reduce memory usage. It lowers memory usage and is ideal for low-end PCs, giving you a stable responsive experience. Fluent Search includes a built-in translate tool I really like. Just enter the target language, type your sentence, and boom, instant translation. It's honestly amazing. File actions are available. You can perform a bunch of actions on files directly from the search window. And for the customization, there are 11 pre-made templates in the personalization tab that look great. And also by clicking on themes, it gives you access to shared user themes, so no worries about styling. You can also customize colors, window style, home screen layout, fonts and font size, and also effects and animations. Fluent Search is perfect if you want a lightweight, super fast and extensible search tool that does it far more than just finding files. From jumping between apps to digging through browser tabs or filtering by file types, Fluent Search gets it done. Next is Cerebro, a free open source launcher designed for minimal and basic usage. There's nothing particularly special about Cerebro, it offers app search but with no advanced preview features. Cerebro comes with plugins like Autocomplete, Reload, FileSnap, Converter, some math operations, and Web Search. All of these are enabled by default. Built with Electron, Cerebro works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Being open source means it's free, constantly evolving, and driven by a passionate community. You can even contribute your ideas and code. And finally, we have Yoli, one of my favorite apps on the list. It's fast, smooth, and looks really nice, especially on Windows. Yoli is both beautiful, minimal, and functional. I'm not sure if it's called Yuli, Yuli, or Uli, but I think it's Yuli. Yuli is a fast and customizable launcher designed to boost your productivity. Getting started is super easy. You set your hotkey and then you're good to go. When Yuli is launched, you can search for applications. Nothing else loads, which keeps the launcher clean and fast. Extensions are available on Yuli and work great. There aren't any integrated extensions like a Spotify controller yet, but if it gains popularity, I'm sure people will add them. Now let's move on to file search. Let's say you want to search for files. Type files and then search for whatever you need in the file search section. To use file search on Windows, first you need to download and install everything CLI. Head over to this link, download and install it. And for macOS, no third-party software installation is needed according to the documentations. Unfortunately, ULS file search isn't available on Linux, but other features like the app launcher work great there. Here's a list of all the extensions available on ULE. You can see that it supports application search, currency conversions, ULE commands, file search, browser bookmarks, and a lot more. There is no YouTube plugin yet on Yuli, so I can test it. Yuli also supports system commands such as shutdown and restart. Customizing Yuli is easy and nice. In the appearance settings, you can change font size, change placeholder text, like writing your own name here, and disabling the search icon like Fluent Search. There's no time or date display, consider using Flow Launcher if you want those features. If you don't like the compact mode, which I find clean, you can switch to detail mode. It shows you the location of applications and files you're searching for. In Yuli, there are two themes. Fluent UI, which looks amazing on Windows. And I made a video on how to use Fluent UI applications on Windows. And the second theme is Microsoft Teams which is more solid and simple, similar to Fluent Search. The light mode is good too. Scrolling in Yuli feels amazing, it's super smooth. If you don't like the scrolling animation, you can set it to instant. Background settings. You can set the background style to acrylic, non, tabbed, or Mika, which is selected by default. You can manage your extensions, like toggling them on or off in settings, 
and configure each extension individually. And as a summary, Yuli is great if you want a simple, highly functional search app that works on Windows, macOS, and Linux. All right, let's break this video down with a quick feature comparison. I've got this empty table here and I'm going to fill it in live so you can see exactly what each launcher offers. No guesswork. First up, Flow Launcher. This one's a beast. Full plugin store including YouTube, blazing fast search, especially with everything, crazy customization options, flexible hotkeys, and solid dual monitor support. Next is Lestree. It keeps things simple. No plugin store, but lightning fast file search, customizable hotkeys, and the smooth dual monitor support, but no YouTube plugin, so I'm marking as no. Now Fluent Search. It supports community plugins, yes, including YouTube, plus solid file search, nice themes, customizable fonts, and hotkeys. Dual monitor support is there too, not open source, but still powerful. Moving on to Cerebro. Open source and cross-platform, but pretty minimal. Has some default plugins, but no YouTube. Search is basic, limited customization, no dual monitor or game mode support. Last is Yuli, also open source and cross-platform. Supports plugins, but no YouTube plugin yet. File search works on Windows only. Customization and hotkeys are solid. File search works on Windows and macOS. Customization and hotkeys are solid, and dual monitor support works great. And that's a wrap on our look at these awesome launchers. Which one are you planning to try out? Drop your pick down in the comments, I'd love to hear what you think. Also, if I missed any cool features or if there's something you want me to cover in the next videos, just let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.